Howdy folks, welcome to the zombie bunker. How's everybody doing? I was trying to bring y'all something else here to look at during the pandemic we're going through right now. We got a Ruger uh, new single new single action or new model single action six. Let's see. I'm gonna go look at it again. Here's the tag on it. When I bought it, I've had this. I bought it brand new uh, several years back. 32 H&R Magnum Ruger came in this box. I still managed to keep the box it came in. Uh, no, it's, it's, you know, it's not brand new. I've had it a while. Several years. I just said that, didn't I? When I bought it brand new, it came wrapped in this, uh, wrapped up in this plastic. And here's the, the shot case it came with. And I can't remember when I got it. And I can't see really good, but it, that looks like July 26th of 2010. I'm not sure. It really seems like I had it longer than that. And that was the case. And the owner's manual and stuff, you know, I dig all that out. And it came with the, the lock. There's what I paid for it back in the day, $3.99. What kind of lock I got? Not too bad, not too bad. I ain't looked at this stuff in a long time. Now I don't use the locks. That'd probably be a cool lock to use for something else, would it? With the keys you got with it, huh? Anyhow, put that in there. I think these came out in the early 2000s, and I see a 03 right there, and that seems about what about when these cut guns was out. Set that box aside, and here it is. We have an actual date on it. It's stainless steel. It's not nickel. It weighs about 33 ounces, 34 ounces. I can't remember sure exactly which, so it's got some heft to it. New model, single six, 32 H&R Magnum. A Ruger, emblem on the grip. My Carta, stainless steel, single action, you know. Can't pull the, gotta cock it to shoot it. Not too bad a trigger. Not too bad. Well, like I said, I got it uh, several years back. 32 H&R Magnum. The available in... After I got it, I wish I'd got a 327 Magnum, but I didn't know about it or they wasn't out yet. Because if you get the 327 Magnum, you can shoot the 32 Magnum and still shoot. I think you can shoot the 32 Smith & Wessons and 32 ACPs. And... Uh, Probably not recommended to do the ACP, 32 ACP, but you can. It's got the, uh, just the bladed front sight, you know. I don't like, I don't like old style guns with late, with new model sights. I don't like that at all. So I won't buy one like that. But that's it right there. Pretty cool. Uh, it's just got the, ain't like the Colt, you know, it's got one click back. Let me show you them rounds. Here was the, uh, that's a, that's a 30 carbine, like the old M1 carbines. You know, we used to use in the military. Or I didn't, somebody did. There's the, here's the 32 H&R Magnum compared to a 30 carbine. And 357 Magnum, which is, you know, quite a bit more powerful. There it is. And everybody knows if anything, a nine millimeter, you know, it's a, the nine is a larger diameter. Focus for me, focus. These are hollow points. And you also use the, uh, you can get 32 wad cutters. These, they, they're the ones that are flat on the end. They, you know, they're really flat when you shoot. They leave a nice hole in the target. And there was the H&R Magnums. I think that's, I'm going to say this wrong. Ain't that Harrington and Richards Magnum? I'd have to check back. 85 grains. That price is, that's old. They're probably $25 a box now. And the, well, I was talking about shooting 32 ACPs. Uh, 32 ACP is, uh, in case if you don't know, it's not completely smooth. You know, revolver's got to take a rimmed case. You got your rim on the end. Right there, and uh, your regular ACP uh, automatic rounds 
don't have the rim. But a 32, the 32 is semi rimmed a little bit, so it's got enough to catch on your cylinder right here when you. So you can shoot them. I can't. It's been so long since I shot those. I can't remember how. It seems like the cases may have stuck on me a little bit. I mean, I, I can't know, but I know it will shoot them. If you can't shoot nothing else, it ain't recommended probably, but you can. 32s. And like I said, if you're gonna look for one, uh, I'd probably get the 327. Or you can get 22s and you can shoot a lot. And the, it's got a bird's head grip, the rounded grip. I like that versus uh, your regular style. This is a, a Colt 22. See the difference. A lot of people, I guess, if you if you're in the guns, you'll know about it. If you're not, but the Doc Holliday, he carried a, a Colt Thunder and a Colt Lightning, and they had the bird's head grips. Pretty cool. And yeah, let's see, got it down a thing or two. It's got a four and five eighths inch long barrel. Like I said, yeah. There's a few variants of rounds you can run. Uh, that word I was looking for the other night, yeah, essential. Uh, I was trying to talk about we're still working because apparently we're still essential to the people. So we get to still work. That's it. And then you got the, you know, your Colt. Uh, Colt, you got to, it's got all the clicks to go back. The Ruger's just got the, it, ain't even get, it don't even have a half cock. It's got a, it's got a transfer bar on it, a safety bar right there. And I don't think this Colt does. I may be wrong on that. It ain't got the bar in front of the, in it anyhow. So you don't have to half cock the Ruger. And it's got, well, you've seen the stamp, and that's a serial number there. It says the Ruger. New model single six, and then I wish they wouldn't do it. They put all this, you know, read your instructions kind of deal through here. But it's a, a very solid built gun. I mean, and it, like I said, stainless steel, it's not nickel. You don't have no problem out of that. You know, always if you scuff it, polish it, or whatever. I like the stainless, it's nice. But back in the day, uh, I remember going to gun shows. Like I said, you get these in 22 Magnums. I think I think these are Talo edition guns. I'm not. Some of them are. Cause I remember going to gun show and they had a matching pair in 22, and they were uh, John Wayne edition ones. They had John Wayne stuff carved in them, and, there's, and they got ones with white grips and probably some imitation pearl. But uh, this gun, ain't, uh, you know, it's an old gun, so I don't think they make them no more. But I think you can get on gun broker or gun shows, you can probably still pick one up nice like this one for 500 bucks, I'm sure. And it's well worth it, man. It's nice. This ain't like them little, you see them uh, old Heritage, they sell them for 150 bucks, and probably that new Ruger Wrangler is 200. There is absolutely no comparison in all in the quality of this type of revolver versus one of them. They, they're they're like some uh, toy junk compared to one of these. They're like, uh, the frame on them is like, I th it seems like they're uh, cast, uh, well this is, uh, is a cast steel, but they're like that, uh, I don't know, magnesium style, not even magnesium, what is it, I forget, pot metal style, you know what I mean? They'll fall apart on you, I've had one. Anyhow, this is pretty cool. I get look at it. I don't ramble on too much here. I was giving y'all something to look at. Everybody, a lot of people is cooped up now. Can't go nowhere. Can't even go to work. And I know when you <clears throat> sucks, you can't go. I mean, don't want to go to work, but it gets you out of the house. That's a pretty good, ain't it? I love single actual pistols. I want to get me, uh, I want to get, uh, well, this is a Colt, but I want to get a 45. The O was in, man, uh, one single action armies. Shoot, man, the price on those. But that's nice. My quarter grip, stainless steel, solid built. To take it down, uh, like I said, it ain't got no half cock, so all you do is open the loading gate. And I hopefully don't bumble this around. <laughs> all you gotta do is open the loading gate. And if one thing on that, you know, I think that when you go to hit inject your rounds, you got an injector, 
most time you got a that one went after I wiggled it a little bit. It's not got quite a large of cylinders, a 357 Magnum. So sometimes you gotta when you go to empty it, you gotta rotate your cylinder just a little bit and push that, you know, and then go around to the next one. To the next one. I make sure it's empty before I start this video too. But anyway, to take a take your cylinder out. You open that gate, you don't half cock it or nothing like that. You open that gate and you push this little button right here, release your rod. And you got to roll the cylinder out the uh, right side here. Yeah, I need to clean it. Yeah. There he is. Put it up dirty, didn't I? Now I got getting it back in, you got to get it lined up just perfect. Take that rod in the hole, and push that button to get it started a little bit. It's a pretty pretty precision fit, so it's got to be dead on, and that cylinder's got to be dead straight, or that rod won't go in there. Nice. Yeah, I say it's a, it's, a, it's so heavy, and uh, that round is not that powerful, so it's it's easy to shoot. 357 Magnum's got a whole lot more kick than this does. You enjoy this, and like I said, get some wad cutters. It seems like me, it's been forever, they are really quiet. Whatever's the cheapest if you just go out and plank, but I guess you could, uh, 32 Magnum, if you got it in a, uh, yeah, looking back now, I'd probably get in a 327 Magnum, so I could run that one too, but it's got a, the difference, see, it's, uh, this, this gun here can be converted, I believe, but you gotta buy the 327 cylinder, and I think you gotta uh, have the uh, forcing column Right there at the end of the barrel, cut down a little bit because it's like uh, 327 is a, like an eighth of an inch longer or rounded about close. So you can run all the uh, weight sizes in the 327 caliber. Okay, did I leave anything out? Showed that 327, you can use three, uh, I think it's 32s, uh, Smith and Wessons. Uh, they you got to check on your 32s because these 32s, uh, maybe it's the 32 Colts that are different. There's a lot of different 32s, so just be a check and make sure before you go get any for one if you got the 32. Screw it together in the back. If I can slow down and show it a little bit. Pretty good, nice. I don't honestly don't get out and shoot it enough. But right now, like I said, now I would like to get me uh, a Colt in a 45. But this is nice. It's nice. There's something else I'm thinking I ought to tell y'all. Like I said, you know, you get them in uh, you get them in 22s, 327, 32, H&R Magnum. Seems like there's another caliber, but I may be wrong on that. Let me show it to you. And y'all make fun of my old backdrop here. Somebody's made fun of it a few times. I, I had to switch out my white table to this black table, and this black table, I notice, is, is, it keeps wanting to focus back here with that black table much worse than it did with the white table. And if I get y'all down really close, I know you can't have a tell depth. It's hard for me to tell what I'm doing, and I'm bad to get, like, up in here. And this thing takes a long time to focus if you get up in there like that. And sometimes it won't focus at all. I'll be folding around. See if you can get the Bearcat uh, Ruger Single Six in there clear. It's hard to like, you don't know why it don't do it, so. And you're like, anyhow, I'm rambling on. There it went. It's hard to make it do it. Uh, the cool thing about nickel versus like is this old uh, Colt. This was a new pistol, and they let it let it get damp or something. I don't know if you can see how it's doing right there. It's starting to lift, but I got a pretty decent deal on it, and it's, it was new, so it's, I, it's a shooter. And you stainless, you won't have to worry about that. Just you get a scuff or something, you polish it out. It ain't ever gonna go bad on you. You have to really bang it up. But anyhow, like I said, I showed you the sights. I love the old style sights. They're, you know, it's hard, it is harder to target shoot with those, but it don't matter. I ain't what this is. Don't matter on this when you're shooting. Don't matter. The bird's head grip, super comfortable in hand. If you ain't never had them, they are. But, all right. Everybody take care. I'll let y'all go. Uh, and I've been leaving out that click, like, and comment, like, and subscribe stuff. That gets old. If you're gonna, it does help, though. Uh, 
comment, like, and subscribe for the channel. I don't really make no difference, but anyhow, y'all take care. See y'all.